So now we're going to talk about the knee joint. Yes, this is a very long lecture, sorry. Um, the knee joint is very, it's a complex joint. Um, some books will say this is the most complex joint in the body. I'm not entirely uh, in agreement with that statement. So, um, But it is a complex joint. I think the, the elbow is complex as well as the shoulder is also complex. So, And all those are, are places that you see uh, injuries occur. Anyway, um, in addition to the features of the typical synovial joint, the knee also has these features. has meniscus. Okay, has a medial collateral ligament, has an MCL, has a lateral collateral ligament, LCL, has an anterior cruciate ligament, ACL, has a posterior cruciate ligament, a PCL, a patellar ligament, and an infrapatellar pad and bursa, so are all, all other parts of, of the, the joint. Um, the medial collateral ligament up here, that's on the tibial side, and the uh, the lateral collateral ligament is on the fibular side. Next slide. So here's your basic knee joint. You have your femur up here, and then you have your, your tibia and fibula down here. Just get your orientation. And we're looking at this from the anterior side. This is the right knee. So the fibula, this is lateral. This is medial. Okay. So here's your patella. There's a patella, patella is here. So this would be your quadriceps femoris tendon here. And this would be your patellar ligament here. Then, so we have the fibula connects to the, to the tibia here through this, this ligament here. And um, so I guess we'll go from lateral. So we have well, let's, let's start on the femur. So we have this blue part here, going all the way down around here and here. And that is hyaline cartilage. And so you have the lateral condyle and the medial condyle of the femur. You learn those. So those are those, the butt cheeks of the femur. So we're looking at the front side. So uh, the back on the back side, uh, I think we have another view of those in a second. So, And then we have the anterior cruciate ligament. ACL, which comes forward. So it's anterior cruciate because it connects to the tibia at the anterior part of the tibia. And the PCL goes backwards and connects back that way. And so it connects to the posterior part of the tibia. So the ACL connects to the anterior part of the tibia, and the PCL connects to the, to the posterior part of the tibia. On the outside of this ligament, you have, on the lateral side, you have this. This is the fibular collateral ligament, also called the lateral or lateral collateral ligament, LCL. And so it's or that's supposed to be. And then on this side, on the medial side, you have the medial or tibial collateral ligament here. So, so you can see how the, the ligaments go from the femur all the way down to the tibia on both sides. Well, on, on the medial side, it goes from the, the femur down to the fibula on the lateral side. So the lateral collateral ligament and the medial collateral ligament, or the if you want to call them the tibial collateral ligament on the medial side and the, the uh, fibular collateral ligament on the lateral side, the fibular side. Then, let's see, we also have, um, then we have a couple, some meniscus. And that's these discs that are in here. Here's this, and you can see it going in there. And then this disc here, and you see it there. It attaches here in front. So this is the medial meniscus, and this is the lateral meniscus here. So the meniscus of the knee, uh, so that provides extra cushioning for uh, for the condyles of the femur. So that when they're, it also keeps the condyles of the femur in place because they're round. They can slide around a whole lot on, on top of that tibial plateau there.
Okay, next slide. So here's a lateral view um, with a uh, sagittal section right through the middle of the of the tibia and the, the femur and tibia, and um, just showing. Um, well, it just shows the, the, the tendons and the muscle. There's a whole bunch of musculature back behind. And you notice a lot of yellow. There's a lot of fat uh, around this, uh, providing some cushioning. And you also notice a lot of bursa. So there's there's a bursa there. There's a bursa there. There's, uh, there's this bursa here, here, here. So there's all kinds of bursa all over the place. Next slide. Oh, the other thing I want you to point out is this, from the side view, this is your meniscus and here's a little another one here so it makes these little like sort of triangle shaped things when you see them in a sagittal section and when you'll see those in a sagittal section will be in an, in an MRI so keep that in mind because we're going to look at some MRIs later on at the end of this uh, lecture next slide okay so here's uh, another picture of the knee joint uh, just showing the lateral condyle of the femur the medial condyle of the femur the MCL medial collateral ligament, the LCL, the fibular collateral, collateral ligament, the ACL here coming forward, and the PCL going backwards, back behind it. And it's called, they're called cruciate ligaments because if you look at them from the side, they make a cross. So just like, uh, just like the, uh, the crucifixion, and so you, it makes a cross. So that's why they're called cruciate ligaments. Then we have the um, we have medial meniscus here on this side going down, going that way, and then we have a lateral meniscus on this side going across here, and you see a little bit of it back here. So, so there's your parts of the knee. So you have PCL, ACL, medial meniscus, lateral meniscus, and then lateral collateral ligament and a medial collateral ligament. So those are the main ligaments that are actually holding all the, these things together. There's one, two, three, four, there's five of them. The medial and lateral collateral ligaments, the posterior and anterior cruciate ligaments, and then the cushioning. So there's four ligaments and then uh, two, two sets of cushioning, the medial and lateral meniscus. Next slide. So here's a cadaver showing same thing, um, just looking from the posterior side, and you can see the ACL here, and it's going forward, and we have the LCL on this side here, and we have the uh, MCL on this side, and then we have a PCL coming back across here. So that goes down that way. And this comes back this way. So the PCL goes backwards and attaches to the posterior part of the tibia, and the ACL attaches from the femur to the anterior part of the tibia. Next slide. Lateral view of the um, knee. Here's your fibula. So that means here's your here's your fibular collateral ligament, lateral meniscus, articular cartilage. Cartilages, you can see those all around, all around the knee, here and here and here and here. And then um, articular capsule, hold, uh, which has been cut away, but it uh, provides um, the articular capsule that's around the outside of the knee, and then um, then the other ligaments, the synovial membrane, all those kind of things are in there. It shows you, it shows you pretty well all the different parts. Next slide. And I'm not going to talk about the slide. It's the same kind of things. Next slide. And this shows the um, ACL and uh, PCL pretty well. So here's your ACL. And where did they label it? They didn't. Huh, interesting. <laughs> so this would be your PCL <laughs> on here. Um, and here's your uh, meniscus. And this uh, showing that there's blood flow into this meniscus, and they're both, both, both the meniscus are both C-shaped inside the knee where the condyles of the femur fit down in there. Next slide. Here's a um, deer tibia, the 
tibial plateau, as it's called. And so this would be, so this would be anterior up here. This would be a knee joint. And so we're looking at the meniscus here where the uh, condyles of femur are going to sit in. So we have a lateral over here and a medial meniscus. And you can see the C-shape here and a C-shape here for both of those. They've cut away the, and the, the, P, the PCL and ACL. They've, they've cut both of those. But you can see the ACL attaches to the anterior part of the tibia there and anterior rear and the posterior cruciate ligament attaches back here to the posterior part of the tibia. So you can see that attachment right where it attaches there to the anterior part of the tibia. Next slide. Blood supply zones in the meniscus you have see the reddish part out here it's a little more blood supply and the whitish part on the inside of the meniscus is uh, uh, has a poor uh, amount of blood supply. So if you get tears in the meniscus, then uh, it doesn't repair very easily on the in on those inside portions. Next slide. Here's just another view of it showing the reds, red zone and white zones. Next slide. So here's your blood supply to the meniscus. You can see that there's a lot of blood supply here and there's not much. You know, lots and not much there. So that tells you if you get a tear in this area here, it's not going to repair very well. If you get a tear out here, you have a better chance of, of repair by the body itself. Um, if you get a tear on the inside, then you're probably going to, have to uh, on the, this part in here, you're probably going to have to have uh, some knee surgery. Next slide. Here's two different types of menis meniscus tears. You're not going to be tested on all this stuff about the meniscus. I'm giving you the stuff just because I think it's really interesting and we need to, and I think it'd be really useful for you uh, in, your, in your careers. So <clears throat> we have what's called a longitudinal tear or vertical tear. We have a radial tear and a horizontal tear. And these can progress. This can progress to what's called a bucket handle tear. So it had a big hole there. This can progress to a parrot beak tear and the horizontal tear can, can progress to a flap. A flap kind of flips over. And then that rubs against the, uh, the condyle of femur will rub against that. And it can cause some pain because, because the knees just, just isn't gliding smoothly. And it puts it just a little bit out of uh, position. Next slide. Uh, some other uh, types of meniscus tears. Here's a degenerative one here. So you have, and this is a little more common. You see some degeneration where the, the condyle of femur has been been uh, you know rubbing against that for the for the person's whole life, and so they're maybe 60 years old and like me, and maybe have a little bit of degeneration in the meniscus. Um, bucket handle tear. There's another example of that. <clears throat> Longitudinal tear, radial tear. We talked about that. Already showed that in the previous slide. A little flap <clears throat> coming from maybe a horizontal <clears throat> or a radial tear, and then uh, then you have um, uh, you have a horizontal cleavage. So if you look at this in cross section, you actually have a a piece that's torn out of the middle of the whole thing. So, next slide. <clears throat> Here's just the uh, some some other um, uh, the, the, some of those are the same examples. So, next slide. So here's the meniscus view, and so here's what would be. So here's a tear in your meniscus there. I'm showing the tear there. Next slide. And <clears throat> here would be. A normal, normal meniscus on the left and a torn meniscus on the right. And here's your tear. You can see that in there. And so you have to go in there uh, and, and uh, figure out. You can't really sew these up, so you just basically cut off a little piece and kind of smooth it out. Next slide. So here's what you do. You do arthroscopic surgery, keyhole surgery. And you, here's a normal meniscus. Notice how nice and smooth everything is. looks really pretty. It's just gorgeous. Um, beautiful, beautiful cartilage there. And so this is the condyle of femur. Of femur here. This is the meniscus. And here's uh, articular. It's articular. It's articular cartilage of the tibia. And 
this is uh, articular cartilage. Oops, cartilage uh, on the condyle of the femur. So that's what you're looking at there. <clears throat> Next slide. So here's your femur cartilage surface up here. Here's your tibial surface with the hyaline cartilage, hyaline cartilage on it, and your medial meniscus here. And it's nice and smooth. Looks, this is all normal, normal articular cartilage. Everything looks really nice and smooth and good. Everything's sliding back and forth really nicely. They're in there looking to see if they can find something because the guys, the person is having some pain to be having arthroscopic uh, views of the knee. Next slide. So here's different, all the different types of tears you could have, parrot beak tear or, or fraying of the edge there, so um, which would be more degener degenerative. You can have sometimes a complex tear, which is partially you know, uh, horizontal and partially going all the way to the edge. You have bucket handle tears, all kinds of tears. So next slide. So here's a complex meniscus tear. This is torn and it's actually folded and fl a little flap has come out. So you can see the edge of the nice edge of the meniscus there. Oops. But this whole bit here is a problem. So this is all flipped out. So it was torn probably under there somewhere, and then uh, gets and with constant rubbing of the condyle of the femur. This is the tibia down here. So with constant rubbing of the condyle femur, it's just brought up that little flap. Next slide. Another uh, another uh, view, this is the medial femoral condyle. This is medial meniscus and medial uh, tibial plateau. So here's your um, your uh, complex or complete radial tear. So we have this whole bit all the way through here. And it's um, and th this part's flipped. This part here has been flipped back a little bit, so it's all fuzzy. It's not nice, not nice and smooth. There's a lot of gen generation you can see in here as well. So nothing's nice and smooth. This, and and this cartilage doesn't look that great up here either. So, so this guy's been um, uh, person has been uh, um, has just had some de degeneration for one reason or another. Next slide. Here's another example of meniscus tear. Showing the tibia and femur and this uh, uh, horizontal tear there. Next slide. 